Hey, it's Tony Zaza. Welcome back to my kitchen. Happy New Year. We're going to kick things off with a cast iron skillet pineapple upside down cake. This is, well, I was going to say it's delicious, but I haven't tried it. It's a first off for me. But I love pineapple upside down cake. And what I want to focus on over the next couple of weeks, we're going to do the cake today because there's a birthday in the house. Um, so we're going to do a dessert. And then the next couple weeks, we'll do some really cool appetizers, all in cast iron skillets, leading up to the big game. And then much like we did last year, the week before the big game, we'll find out what two cities are going to be battling it out, find a famous food in each of those cities. We'll do those on the big green egg, and then we'll have a little taste test and try to predict who's going to win the game based on whose food is the best. So if you're ready, we'll take a look at the ingredients. Pretty simple on this one. Again, I have never, and I've said this before, I'm not a good baker, but I feel like because I've got the green egg and a cast iron skillet, maybe I've got an advantage. I don't know, we'll see. So never done it before, hope it turns out. Seems very simple. So we'll just give it a whirl and see what ends up happening. So let's take a look at the ingredients. We have a 12 inch cast iron skillet. I love Lodge, hands down the best. I've got, I don't know, five or six different ones, different sizes, different shapes, all for different things, but this is what we're gonna do it in. All purpose flour, sugar. I've got some Mexican vanilla, just got that literally in Mexico on the cruise over the holidays. Mexican vanilla, by the way, if you ever go to Mexico, get your tequila on, but also get Mexican vanilla. It is the best in the world. Baking soda, baking powder, ground cinnamon, some butter. We've got some butter milk, couple of eggs, brown sugar, chopped pecans, maraschino cherries, and sliced pineapple. That's pretty much it. We're gonna start the process with some brown sugar and getting a little glaze going with the pineapples. We'll set the base, we'll mix the rest of it, pour that in on the big green egg at 350 degrees. This is gonna cook for at least 40 minutes or until a toothpick in the center is completely clear. And then you'll flip it over and boom, it's pineapple upside down cake time. All right, so we're gonna melt two thirds cups of butter in a saucepan, and then we're gonna mix our one cup of brown sugar in. And don't do that and spill part of the butter everywhere until it's nice and everything is dissolved. All right, so we've got the butter melted and the brown sugar mixed in, nice consistency. Now we're gonna pour this in a 12 inch ungreased iron skillet, which I have right there. Look at that. Just kind of move it about. Get a nice thin layer. All right, next we're gonna take our drained pineapple and single layer all the way around. Oops. All right, yeah, don't do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Be uh, better about setting them in. This will all melt again once we put it on the egg, hopefully. Otherwise, it's gonna look like crap. And then carefully, unlike me moving the pineapple around, one maraschino cherry in the center of each pineapple. These remind me of Shirley Temples you used to be able to get at the bowling alley when you were a kid. All right, that's done, and now set that aside. And I forgot, after you put the cherries in, top it with the pecans. Okay, so the next step is one and a half cups of sugar in, two thirds cup softened butter. And then very lightly, we're gonna start to cream this. All right, so after you've done that and got a nice little consistency, we're gonna mix the eggs in and beat them one at a time. One teaspoon 
the Mexican vanilla. I'm gonna beat that in. All right. All right, for the next step, I've got the flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and cinnamon all mixed together. And we're gonna alternate mixing part of this, part of the buttermilk, blending it, part of this, part of the buttermilk, blending it, and so on. So we're gonna take part of this, part of the buttermilk, and blend it. Part of this, Part of the buttermilk. Part of the mix. And the rest of the buttermilk. Now once it's mixed, scrape those sides and carefully pour over the top of our pineapple. And then we're just going to spread it out, make sure it's all covered nice and evenly. And now you're ready to go on the egg, 350 degrees, indirect heat for 40 minutes. or until a toothpick in the middle is free and clear of anything else. All right, we've got the egg at 350 degrees, indirect heat. I'm just gonna set this right in the center. And then 40 minutes or until that toothpick is clear of anything in the center. All right, so let's go ahead and check the middle. All the way down. That is clean as a whistle, we're good. And the goal is to flip it. As soon as it comes off. So hopefully this works. I've never done this before. I feel it. Let, oh no! It says flip it immediately and it doesn't look like it's going to. Ah! Here we go. I don't know what it's gonna look like. <laughs> there it is. That's gorgeous. Yay! It worked. I didn't think it was gonna work. Wow, that looks really good. There it is. So the edges, eh? But that's pretty awesome. Holy moly! Yay! Now just let it sit, cool off, and then cake's ready. Again, I've never done it first time.